Let me talk about three golden rules of data modeling in Power BI. Number one, merge one to one relationships into a single table. If you have two exclusive table and the only relationship that exists between the two tables is one to one, it doesn't make sense. Rule number two, reduce the height and the width of your fact tables. What do I mean by that? Reducing the height of the table simply means that you are not bringing in all the rows of the table. Let's just say if the data is transactional, but you don't want transactional data, you want month-wise, product-wise data, please do summarize it, either in Power Query or in SQL, wherever. Use the ETL tools to summarize the data so that you can reduce the height of the fact table. Number two, once again, reduce the width of the fact table, which is where you can remove all the unnecessary columns that you don't need. It's no point having those columns in the model. Your model is anyways going to be bloated. And finally, the third one, force yourself to think like star schema related problem solving approaches. If you're trying to write hard DAX, just take a step back and think that how can I build a star schema or tweak the relationship or change the nature of the tables so that this problem becomes ridiculously easy to solve with the help of modeling rather than actually writing complicated DAX. I've shared a lot more of these tricks in the video below. Please do watch it and let me know which one is your favorite one. Cheers.